So what is an HDR? It's also called image-based lighting. It's a photo, it's a high dynamic range image that somebody has gone into an interior scene, like it could be a, 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 a factory or a garage, or it could be, you know, a beautiful building or a, a, a temple or something like that. Or it could be outdoors in the middle of a field uh, or on a sandy beach or whatever, and they take they they capture a 360 degree image that's spherical of the entire scene. And since it's high dynamic range, they can use that to light the scene and recreate a very naturalistic lighting look with the right color shadows and whatever. So that's what we're going to use here. We're actually going to use an HDR image. Okay. If you want to see what the HDR image looks like in Photoshop, we can actually open it up. Uh, by the way, this is going. This is what we're going to look at. Uh, what is that we're, we're going to be creating? We're going to be creating all of these textures and this lighting uh, in this part two. So, uh, if I go to this um, CG unscripted stuff that you're gonna, you will be able to download from Gumroad, and you open it up. You can see that that's what it is. That's what the HDR looks like. It's sort of an interior view of a kind of uh, uh, little studio there. Okay. And um, and we're going to use that to light the scene. There's like a window in the front. And there are these lights on the top. So, and as you can see that it's a spherical. It's meant to be wrapped around a sphere. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our scene, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to add in, we're going to go to the Redshift menu, and we're going to go over to um, Lights, and we're going to choose what's called a Dome Light, okay? Now, what a Dome Light is, is that, first of all, if I were to, to move out, it's, it's actually like a huge white light sphere around the entire scene, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take this dome light and instead of a white sphere, we're going to map that HDR image on this infinitely large sphere. So we're going to go to the uh, lighting folder and we're going to click on this HDR. We can click no here. Okay. And then it pops it into this sphere so if i were to hide everything or let me just zoom out okay you can see that this image here is now being lit by that hdr now i actually kind of like it right there where it came in but if you want you can actually take this dome light and you could rotate it around any axis, and it will change the lighting uh, based on where it is. So here the light's coming from the back, or you're gonna have the light coming from sort of the side, that kind of looks interesting. Um, or you can have it come around on this side, or sort of, but we're gonna just sort of leave it back the way it came in. I thought that was fine, and uh, I'm happy with that kind of lighting. Now, a lot of times when you're working, that thing can kind of get in the way, this, uh, this sphere around everything. So if you click on the dome light under object, by the way, here is where you choose the HDR under texture. Okay, you click on this little button here that looks like a little folder, and then that's where you can pull in the HDR. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck where it says background here. Okay, and now you don't see it, but it's still having its effect. It's still lighting the scene. You just don't happen to see it. So there we have it. We've got the HDR lighting the scene, which gives it a nice natural look with the shadows not too dark and not too filled in. And now we're ready to start building some textures.